To access any miracle that you're desiring from God, you must first put all your faith in God. You would first have to believe that He would do what you desire Him to do for you. And you must believe that He has the power to do it for you. You must understand that not only can He do it for you, but He is also willing to do it for you. All you have to do is believe. Without faith, it's impossible to receive from God. The scripture tells us that without faith, it'll be impossible to please God. Hebrews 11 verse 6, And without faith living within us, it would be impossible to please God. For we come to God in faith, knowing that He is real and that He rewards the faith of those who give all their passion and strength into seeking Him. God rewards those who seek Him in total belief and faith. This means that you can't believe today and stop believing tomorrow. No, that's not how to receive from God. You receive by putting your total trust in Him. James even went further to say if we desired anything at all from God, we should ask in faith and not doubt at all that whosoever doubts won't receive that which they seek from God. All over the scriptures, faith is what gives us access to receive miracles or blessings from God, and without it, you would get nothing. Go to prayer in faith and be confident that God hears you and can give you what you want. Make sure you ask for this miracle you desire with confident faith, without doubting that you'll receive it. James said that the ambivalent person who believes one minute and doubts the next is an undecided person who is half-hearted and wavering towards God's power and such a person is unstable in their request towards God and should not expect to receive anything from the Lord in that condition. James 1 verse 6 to 8 Having faith in God means that you're fully convinced of Him. The way Abraham was fully convinced that God was going to do that which he had promised to do. He didn't consider his age or Sarah's condition. He didn't doubt or disbelieve in God's promise to give him a child. He held on and was fully convinced, totally without a doubt. Being fully convinced was the same thing Jesus was saying when he said that you will receive what you say in Mark 11 verse 24. And it's what he meant when he said, quote, Verily I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not. End quote. Matthew 21 verse 21. Another way to access a miracle for your life is to recognize that God has all the power to perform the miracle that you're desirous for. God is not just the one who holds all the power of the universe. He's the power that holds all the universe and he's capable of performing miracles and mighty works. So, when you're believing in Him and standing in His presence, you must realize that you're standing in the presence of the one that can change your life in less than a second. God is powerful, and His power is available to do this miracle for you. Remember that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto Himself. This means that when Jesus was on earth, the Father was in Him and the Father performed mighty works through Him. Acts 10 verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. This is the power that can work out that miracle that you've been desiring to see in your life. When you acknowledge God's power, you must disregard your power and ability. You'll have to remove your focus from your inabilities and focus on God's power to do the impossible for you. Don't think about your inabilities, weakness, or failures. Rather, let your faith grow strong on God's power and ability. When you've reached an end and it seems like your back is against the wall, God's power will show up for you and turn that situation around. At that point, when things are not to be adding up, God will show up and give you the miracle that you need in your life. Learn to be grateful for all the things present in your life. Gratitude is a sure way to get miracles from God. This is because when you're grateful for what you already have, your perspective will shift from the things you don't have to the things you have. Your mind will shift from scarcity to plentiful. When you're constantly living in a place of gratitude, you would see more things to be grateful for, and as you're grateful to God for all that He's done for you, you're going to be simulating and promoting His heart to move in your favor. Your gratitude will stimulate God to do the miraculous in your life. 
Think about it like this. When you give someone something that's worth a lot to you and they give thanks to you and appreciate it, how do you feel? You most likely would feel happy and would consider giving them something else when the situation calls for it. However, when you give someone something and they act obnoxious and don't even bother to show you some level of appreciation, how do you feel? You most likely won't want to give much to that person the next time the opportunity arises. Gratitude moves God to give you more. A grateful person is a humble person, and the scripture tells us that God uplifts the humble and resists the proud, meaning he would uplift the man who's constantly grateful to him and bring down the man who doesn't seem to care about the things he's getting. Gratitude helps you to put God as the head in charge of all your situations and circumstances. Your worship and praise towards God is something that propels forth a miracle from God. Your showing your appreciation towards God is something that announces to the world and to the enemy that you're being held by our Father, and that you know it so well that you will receive your miracle from Him. Help Others The key to you receiving your miracle may just be you giving someone else something they consider to be a miracle. You may not know it, but those things you have and think aren't enough for you may be a miracle for someone else. And it may be what would help you to receive the very thing that you need from God. Do you know the widow of Zarephath? She and her son had nothing but one last meal to eat and just die. But God had greater plans for her. But his plans for her involved and required her to first give out what she had to someone. This may just be what would produce the miracle you want in your life. When you give to people, God blesses you, and if you're desirous of a miracle, then He can give it to you. Be sensitive and look out for God's word to you. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Romans 8 verse 14 When you want to access God's miracle for your life, you have to look out for God's word to you. God may have some special instructions for you. Amid the circumstances that you're in, you must ensure that you can be sensitive to His leadings. God may want to lead you to do one thing or the other that would lead you to the miracle that will eventually change your life. When you go to pray, expect to hear from God. When reading the scriptures, watch out for the part of the scriptures that He would strike a lot with you. It could also be a word from a minister of God. However, it comes isn't the issue. The issue is that you ought to know it is the voice of God to you and you ought to take it as the instructions of God. When you follow these instructions, you will then receive a miracle. Many people in the Bible received a miracle on account of their obedience to Jesus' instructions. Now that I've shared with you five ways to access your miracles, what do you plan to do differently with this knowledge? You won't receive a miracle from God if you don't take any action with the knowledge you just gained. You now know what you need to do for you to get that miracle. Go ahead and do it.